What's up guys, this is Ira Pilot and welcome to another one of my Rust videos. Today we're going to be talking about signs, some special controls, and some special tricks you might not even be aware of. The very first control you're going to need to know is E to open the sign. We're also able to zoom using our scroll wheel on our mouse in and out. And with larger signs, it's going to be nice to know that if you hold shift and the right, right mouse button, it allows you to move up and down on the painting. And the right mouse button without shift allows you to rotate your painting. We can zoom back out with the scroll wheel. And we can shift and right click to move it back up. Left click to select colors. And if you want to paint a straight line, you're going to left click down where you want the line to start. Click shift in, move your mouse to where you want the line to end, and then release shift and you have yourself a straight line. If you click update, it's going to go ahead and save your painting there. And if you decide that you want to erase that painting, you can't just click trash and click update. That's going to leave it. What you're going to need to do is you're going to have to click in on the painting somehow, then you can click trash and update. If you were working on a painting that you wanted to take quite a bit of time with, you could do it in layers. If you wanted to uh, come back later, you could click save. And if you aren't too confident about your next step, if you weren't sure if you might mess up, you can always cancel that. And it's not there since we click save first. But we can come back click save or have just clicked update and keep it we can come back and paint it at a later time now one other secret that a lot of people aren't aware of is uh, clicking with in between the colors there are some hidden colors that you wouldn't normally have access to you can see here I'm in between these blues and browns and we got some other colors in between there and that's all over this thing there's colors hidden everywhere if you just kind of go in be in between them you can find them now a couple more obvious things here but these buttons control the flow as we go down there's less intensity on the paint so this is going to be less visible um, more like a, a spray paint and I uh, go back up and it becomes more solid now if we were to uh, click on these different settings here, this again should be fairly straightforward, but this is a uh, square uh, variable sizes along here. This is going to show up more as a spray paint, uh, hardly visible there, even if we go bigger, uh, it's hard to notice. And this one is only soft around the edges, so you can see that, more like a paintbrush. I hope you guys found this video useful. I hope all the little tricks there, especially the hidden colors, I think that's the one that most people aren't going to know. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.